Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thorne. Today we're talking about INFP eye contact. So what I've found is INFPs tend to be described as very understanding. INFPs are sometimes rated as the best listeners of all the 16 personalities. So this also comes off in the INFP's eyes because an INFP has this habit of when looking at you, just opening their gaze, just looking at you with open eyes, just like pouting their lips in a relaxed sense, showing just open, unbiased, non-critical listening, just 100%, I see you, I hear you, I understand you, and I'm listening to you. That kind of uh, eye contact is ideal for a counselor because it really puts people at ease. INFPs are better than any other personality type at putting other people at ease at least when the INFP is relaxed themselves. Because when you flip an INFP, when you uh, push them too hard, when, you, uh, when they think you are being judgmental or manipulative, you can really see the <laughs> more difficult uh, side of the INFP. And the INFP is not really a judgmental type. But I've noticed this, INFPs will only judge when they feel judged. So as an INFP, it's more common to harbor kind of uh, get out of my way extroverted thinking. So when extroverted thinking comes to the surface and when you piss off an INFP, it's a lot of time it's just, uh, they will give you this eye, which is like, get out, just shut up, just stop talking, just stop trying to manipulate me, just stop trying to control me, just stop pushing me, just give me my space in a sense. That kind of like thing that makes people go, okay, okay, uh, I didn't mean to offend or anything like that. That kind of eye contact is really striking because when you go from being this kind of really understanding, open-minded person to being like that kind of get out of my face kind of extroverted thinking, it's really unexpected. People don't expect feeling types to have a negative or angry backswing. They think that, oh, they are happy or cheerful all the time or they're nice, always nice. But for an INFP, that's definitely not the case. They do have boundaries. When an INFP is just uh, basically just studying you, a lot of time it's, uh, they will have this kind of daydreamy eyes, these kind of drifty eyes, and also kind of like this amused expression. A lot of time I see INFPs having this kind of uh, looking away, barely looking at anything around them, just these glassy, uh, unfocused eyes that just look and don't really appear to be paying attention to anything that's happening around them. And what's more interesting is a lot of time when they have this look, they also look kind of amused. They look like they're laughing at something or they're thinking of something funny or they're like in this like really funny illusion state, you know, like when they, yeah, it's like they're, they're dreaming about unicorns or they're dreaming about uh, like some really absurd scenario or there there's elephants in the rooms playing the tuba you know this kind of daydreamy state of the INFP is really striking you can tell when the INFP goes into this you know often it's for play and it's just for fun they will just like disappear into this like crazy haha uh -huh, um, absurd reality alternative reality um, you can tell when an INFP does it because of this amused half laughing expression they have while they do it INFP SI is also interesting to talk about, the introverted sensing in INFPs and in the eyes. So a lot of time INFPs have this kind of bohemic style of, uh, you know, not really uh, caring about how they come across and, and discipline and uh, about those kind of matters. So a lot of time what you see in an INFP is this kind of laid back introverted sensing. So all this kind of like anything goes kind of uh, thing. INFPs have this kind of, that's fine. If you want to do that, you go do that. You know, that kind of, no matter what you're doing, they're like, sure, why not? <laughs> that's uh, an interesting thing about INFPs. They have like this kind of sure, why not style to anything you suggest at them. You know, let's... Uh, go put on pink hats and uh, dance on the street, kind of, uh, okay, sure, why not? Yeah, that sounds perfectly reasonable to me. That kind of uh, gaze, that kind of like uh, anything goes or that's fine. Or 
if you want to, why not? That kind of uh, um, style is really striking to an INFP. Another thing you will see in INFP is when they are feeling anxious and how to know an INFP is feeling anxious, a lot of time they will go into suddenly becoming like t having this kind of tense uh, upper lip, uh, lower lip, sorry, this kind of tense like stare like and a lot of time it will be like I missed something or I made a mistake somewhere or I did something I shouldn't have or this kind of uh, um, anxious introverted thinking because introverted thinking to an INFP tends to be often the trigger of a kind of anxious or fervent or conscientious problem solving like okay how do I fix this how do I make this better okay I did something I shouldn't have how do I make this better this kind of uh, uh, that's that's kind of uh, the style of an INFP when they are in TI or when they are feeling anxious. Another thing is when an INFP is listening to you, a lot of the time their style is very like tensely focused. Uh, INFPs when listening to you will really like look at you like this the whole time. And it will be like they are not letting, if they are focused, if they're concentrated, they really have like this tense style of listening, which is like, it can seem a bit, um, uh, what should you say, uh, hypervigilant or really, really tense. Like uh, when ESFP is listening to you, it's like, oh, that's cool. Or yeah, whatever. With an INFP is listening to you, it's really like this kind of, uh, really focused brows, really focused expression, really like, and that's often because the INFP is so prone to disappearing into this daydreamy state. So they feel a need to constantly be like super concentrated if they have to pay attention in class or if you are telling them to pay attention to you and they feel forced to do it, they will really be like, what? And also that's something very important to recognize. You should not force an INFP's attention. You shouldn't, uh, if you can avoid it, you shouldn't say, listen to me or pay attention or do this uh, because uh, it can have the reverse effect. It can have the INFP be like, okay, what are you saying? But it can also lead to the, whatever you're saying, just floating in the one ear and going out the other. Because even when they are looking at you like this, that doesn't necessarily mean they are listening. It can just mean that they are so focused on appearing like they are listening, that they are not really listening at all. So in short, INFP eye contact kind of depends on their mood and their energy. So you can't just generalize it to one kind of gaze or one kind of stare. You have, of course, this kind of amused, shifty, uh, playful NI dream day dreaming state. You have this kind of uh, what you say, understanding kind of, uh, oh, what are you saying? What do you mean? How do you feel about that kind of counseling style eye contact? They have um, this kind of uh, super focused, like, um, what are you saying? Kind of uh, uh, SE, extroverted sensing. They have this kind of uh, uh, helmet style, like uh, uh, firm, like, what are you get out of my way kind of thing when you push them to uh, in some way or if you piss them off they have this kind of uh, uh, SI kind of anything goes sweatshirt sure, whatever you want kind of uh, that's okay no problem that kind of introverted sensing they have um, yeah, extroverted intuition, uh, they, can, they have kind of like a serious curiosity because when they are curious about something or when they are saying something wacky, they also have the ability to sound absolutely serious about it. So they can be like, okay, let's all stand on the table. And when they say it, they are like, let's all stand on the table. And then everyone's like, what, why? <laughs> but they, they sound so serious about it. And that's how often they engage in extroverted intuition when they have an idea or when they are being creative or when they are doing something new. Or, so they, often they do it very seriously and very attentively. Like, let's do it. Come on, just listen to me. Let's just stand on the table. That kind of uh, NE is also kind of striking to an, ENFP, to an INFP. Finally, the INFP's extroverted feeling is... Uh, kind of passionately warm. So when you 
are connecting with an INFP or when my INFP is uh, feeling connected to you, you can have, you can notice this kind of uh, unconscious, like spontaneous uh, warmth spreading to them. Like and this is often kind of rare. Uh, if you are really able to connect with an INFP or make them feel uh, liked or when you're able to inspire them, uh, a lot of time they'll be like, <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, they, they turn a bit reddish. They become a bit like suddenly more soft than what they normally are. So in short, that's INFP eye contact for you. I hope this video helped you understand INFPs a little bit better, or if you are an INFP, uh, let me know in the comments down below, what do people tend to describe you as and how do they tend to perceive your body?